Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to use RESTful Web Services in Spring Boot. So already in our previous videos, we have discussed about Spring Boot MVC as well as Spring Boot with JPA along with H2 database. So now in this video, we are going to apply RESTful Web Services in Spring Boot. So first of all, we have to understand what is Web Services. So Web Services is a set of protocol or I can say it's a set of standard. With the help of this set of protocol or standard, I can make a data transfer between two application or two systems. You can take uh, any real time application. So for example, uh, just assume that I have an application X, which is using uh, a language X. I have another application Y, so which is developed by the by using other language let it be y so now both are two entirely different application which is running on different language maybe it may run on different different platform maybe a different OS. in a particular situation if i want to make a communication or if i want to make a data transfer between these two application so then i will be using web services so finally web services is a standard or it's a set of protocol with the help of this web services i can make a dat data transfer between two similar or different application you can take uh, let us take a, a simple scenario so for example by using hdfc net banking I can transfer the money to SBA. Let us assume that HTFC is using a language X and it is running on a platform X. And SBA is developed by using language Y and it may run on different operating system. So finally, HTFC will understand language X the SPA will understand language Y. So I want to make a data transfer or I want to make a communication between these two different application. Yes, in real time we are familiar from HTFC to SBA or SBA to HTFC or between any bank I can make a data transfer without worrying about that particular bank application uh, application programming language or application uh, server so without worrying about the uh, language of these two um, application i can make a transfer money transfer from one application one bank to another bank so how it is possible it is possible with the help of web services so finally, web services will act as a mediator between these two to, to make a communication or to make a data transfer between these two application. Same way you can take one more scenario. I have a eCart website, let, uh, website, let it be Flipkart. In my Flipkart, I may order some product. Let me assume that I have an account in my HTFC bank. How this Flipkart and HTFC they are communicating or they are making a data transfer between bank and the Flipkart? It is because of web services. Same way by using phone pay or Google Pay. We can send a money to any bank. 
we can transfer money to any bank account so how it is possible it is possible because of web services so finally web services is playing a big role nowadays if you want to make a data transfer between two different application or two similar type of application i can use or i can achieve that with the help of web services so finally web services is a set of protocol or i can say it's a set of standard with the help of this web services i can make a data transfer between two application or two system so without worrying about application uh, language and without worrying about application platform so this is about web services i hope uh, friends we got some idea what is web services and how it is playing a big role nowadays in the real life application actually we have two kind of web services one is earlier days we were using soap soap is also one web services which is based on xml but nowadays we are using rest web services yes this is based on http protocol so earlier days we were using soap but nowadays we are using uh, rest web services if any of the application is using rest web services if any of the application is using rest web services then i will call this it's a restful web services so we have many way to achieve this restful web services so the latest trend is by using spring boot so mainly if i want to achieve micro services so then i need a spring boot as well as restful web services so that's why i'm i'm going we are going to discuss about restful web services by using a latest latest technology called spring boot so we have four methods in case of rest application one is get and post and put delete so as we are familiar http protocol means it has four method so get is nothing but reading and post is nothing but write and put is nothing but update and delete method will work as a delete so these are the four types of method in case of restful web services so now in this video we are going to concentrate on get method so in our upcoming videos we will discuss the remaining three one by one so now i think without delay we can start writing our code so first what i am going to i have my sts ide here i am going to create one new project i will say spring starter project and let me say the name as spring boot rest get method yes our intention is in this video we are going to concentrate on only get method so i will give a name of this project as spring boot rest get and i will select my one type and my java version and let it be a uh, core java application so that's why i'm selecting jar and the language is also java and i will give some package name and i will give here also the same package name so now i will be clicking my next button as we already familiar about sts tool already we have discussed in our uh, spring boot uh, videos itself so here i have to browse my dependencies 
so i can type i can close my dependency so first what i am going to i am going to select spring verb and if i want to work on jpa i can select jpa and h2 database as well if it is required but right now i am not going to use any database so that's why i will be selecting spring verb and i have to select spring web services dependency as well as i will select dev tool as well as jersey i have selected four dependency now jersey spring web spring web services spring boot dev tools and then i will click finish it will create my spring boot project along with the selected dependencies so now it's creating my project it may take uh, another couple of minutes okay so now so my project is ready so first what i will do i will go to my property file and i will say i want to run a server on a port number let it be 8181 i'm just giving a port number for my embedded tomcat so i think i can close my property file here after i am not going to use this property file so now i will go to my package so here i am going to create one controller class so it's almost same as our uh, spring boot i am just creating a class in a separate package let it be controller and i will name of name this file as my rest controller yes right now it's not a normal web controller i am going to use it as a rest controller so that's why i am giving the meaningful name as my rest controller and then i will say finish it will be creating my controller in case of spring boot to make a class as controller we will be using an annotation called controller but right now it is not a normal controller it is going to be act as a rest controller so that's why i will be using annotation called at the rate rest controller so finally because of this at the rate rest controller so this particular will act as a controller for restful web services or i can say it will act as a rest controller so now same way i will be defining a method let it be the method is going to return some value let it be uh, say welcome and it is going to return a string value welcome to rest rest web services in case of spring boot we were using a request mapping annotation but right now i am going to apply a restful web services so that's why what i am going to i am going to use an annotation called get mapping as we discussed theoretically we have four method get post put delete for get method we will be using annotation at the rate get mapping same way post mapping put mapping and delete mapping anyhow right now let us concentrate only on this get method so i will be saying that so i am going to define an annotation at the rate get mapping and i can give some path name let it be if the path is for slash welcome then i want to execute this particular method 
so finally here you can look at the code friend so very simple i am using two annotation one is at the rate rest controller to make my classes controller and second one is i am making a get mapping for a path slash welcome so that's it so now let us start this application and we'll verify whether it is working fine or not let me run this code as a spring boot yes it started my application so i will go to my external browser and as per my property file port number is 8181 let me verify it yes tomcat is started on a port number 8181 so now i will go to my browser and i will say that local host colon 8181 so the get mapping is welcome you can see it is getting a response from the rest controller and it is displaying on the browser so finally here if you consider a, uh, if you uh, think in a real time application so this rest controller will interact with the server to get the value so that's why i have mentioned get is nothing but read so here actually directly we are returning a value but in real time this get method what it will do it will be reading a data from the other application i mean the other application is going to send some data so that it is going to read and it is going to display on the browser or maybe the uh, it may pass the data to the second application so finally get method what it is doing it is actually reading a data from the one machine and it is transferring the data to the other application or machine or system so how i am accessing this one by entering the path slash welcome you can look at the uh, one i am saying that localhost 8181 so there my rust controller is running in the rust controller i am saying that my path is slash welcome so based on my path it may or it will interact with other application and it will fetch the data so that data will go to another application but here now since it's a very simple program so directly we are returning that value that it is getting displaying on the client browser so right now you can see it may look like it is displaying a messages a plain text but if it is a web application it has to display the data in the form of html how to achieve that let me copy paste that code and let me say this is welcome one and i will say say welcome html and i am going to display in a html form so i will say font color equal to green with bold and it's better to close the tags properly so i'm closing the tags properly finally this is going to give a result or response in the form of html so let us verify this one also so right now you can see this you know in real time in real time application so rest will take a data from one application and it will send the data to other application and the other application may display in the form of html right so that's why this is plain text but now i am sending a response or the get mapping uh, rest method is giving a response in the form of html so now you can see the path it is welcome underscore one 
let us verify it so instead of welcome i'm going to give welcome underscore one you can see it is displaying with html form also we have one more format json format i will show that as well so let me do like this let me create one pojo class or the bean class let me say i need a new class let it be employee in the package com dot balloon dot b we are sometimes in real time i may i may want to send the object b in object or the web services needs to read a bean object from the application one and the response back to the second application in the form of json so that we'll see how to achieve so now it is just my normal employee class i'm going to make this one as bean class private int id private string name and private in salary and since it's a bean class i have to define my getters and setters i'm generating my getters and setters for all the three properties also i will make a constructor for this bean class to initialize the properties with the help of constructor i am using a option generate constructor using field i am selecting all the three field and i will say generate it will be generating a constructor with all the three fields to initialize either i can initialize through setter or i can initialize it through constructor as well so finally you can see this constructor what it is doing it is initializing all the three properties so finally my bean class is ready let us look at this one here what i am going to do in the rest controller i am saying that i need to define a mapping for let it be path is let it be slash welcome welcome b i can give any name for example i am giving a name as welcome b and i am defining a method let it be it is going to return employee b in object let it be say welcome B. and it is going to return employee object i mean my pin object i'm initializing some id and name as well as salary through my constructor and you can see i have third get mapping so this time the path is welcome b so if i give the path as welcome b then it is going to invoke this particular method which is going to return my employee b in object i mean my rest controller is going to return employee b in object in the form of json so finally the response will be in the form of json let us verify this output as well so i will be saying that this time i am going to read a bean let it be welcome bean you can see it is displaying my bean properties id name salary everything in the form of json so finally so what it is doing 
Suppose for example, assume that if I want to transfer a money from HDFC to SBI, HDFC to SBI, so which means HDFC will be sending in the form of object. So that object it is reading and it is sending back to the another application in the form of JSON. The same way we have sometimes we may want to pass path parameter as well. Let me make one more get mapping. Let it be the mapping is welcome, but I'm going to pass some path variable as a input. Let it be I'm going to pass name as a input let it be say welcome user the method name i will make it as say welcome user just assume that here i am going to send some username as a path variable so here how to access this path variable very simple in the method i will be using a argument with the help of path variable annotation and I will say it is a string variable so I will say string name so that name I am going to display welcome name so finally previously it was displaying the static value so welcome to rest but this time I am going to display the dynamic value. So with the help of this get mapping, I am passing a path variable. I can pass any name. So that name I am accessing with the help of at the rate path variable. So that I am sending back as a response. So now let us run this particular get mapping method and will absorb our output. So let me go to my browser. So this time I have to give welcome as well as I have to give some name. Let me give a name as well. This is my path variable input. You can look at the output. It is displaying welcome bala. So if I pass some other name, let me say Arasu. It will display welcome Arasu. So whatever I am passing in the path as a input that I can access it with the help of at the rate path variable annotation. So now we may get a question can I pass multiple path variable for example assume that I want to pass id name salary everything. So how to pass multiple path variable so very simple let me reuse the same get mapping and I will say it is a welcome bean but at the same time I am going to pass id as a first path variable and name as a second path variable and salary as a third path variable. I have to give some other name. Let me say the method name as welcome bean uh, underscore one. Some method name you can give. How to access these inputs? I have to come with the path variable. Path variable, first one is integer value, and come on again from the path. I am going to access the second variable which is string name. And same way I am going to access the third variable from the path but path in the sense URL which is of integer value and the variable name is salary so whatever I have passed in the URL so that I am accessing with the help of my path variable so that value with the help of that value i am initializing my 
pin object so that I am returning to the receiver name salary to verify this one I have to give a URL welcome bin if I give only welcome bin then it will be executing this particular uh, get mapping method but as per this part it is welcome bin slash some id slash some name salary so that value whatever I post I am going to use to initialize my employee object and it is going to give a response back in the form of json let us verify it let us go to our url and this time i will be saying that if i say welcome bean you can see it will be executing our old uh, welcome bean object sorry it, it will be returning old welcome bean uh, get mapping method and it is displaying the same value whatever we have assigned but this time i want to pass three path input let it be so the id is this time 102 name is arasu salary is let it be 4000 finally you can see right now my path variables are 102 name is arasu and salary is 4000 So friends, we are clear what is RESTful Web Services and what is the real life usage of web, uh, RESTful Web Services and what are the methods are in RESTful Web Services and also we have understood GET method. So how to make a controller? I will be using at the rate REST controller. To make a get mapping get method, I have to use annotation get mapping and then I will specify the path. So we have seen how to give a response in the form of plain text, HTML as well as JSON. Also we have understood how to send the path variable and how to access the data from the URL with the help of at the rate path variable. Also, we have understood how to pass multiple path variable. So, hope friends, we got some basic idea about RESTful Web Services and how to use GET method. So, in our upcoming video, we will be discussing about POST method and PUT method as well as DELETE method one by one. Thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as I upload the new videos, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.